Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing fantastic. Today we're doing a, another handgun review. Boom. Today we're doing a GSG. What? 922? California edition? So. This bad boy's, uh. Well, not bad. Uh, we've really liked it. You know, obviously, before we begin, we'll make sure that, you know, empty. Nothing in the. Nothing's in the chamber. Da 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 da. Clear it, right? Shoot up. Ooh, there you go. Red the hammer. Uh, so yeah, so uh, picked this bad boy up. Mm, a month ago, I think. Yeah, about a month ago. Yeah, so uh, German sports guns, right? Uh, first impressions. I well, my wife to the. And a friend to the gun range, and um, it was good. I mean, obviously, it's a 22, right? There's not a lot of kickback. It's pretty nice. It's pretty smooth. Um, actually, I didn't even notice uh, till now, but actually, the sights are uh, the sights are adjustable. But I didn't even notice that the sights look at how uh, off to the side that they are. So it's like, all right. So when I was looking down, I was like, why? Why is it shooting off? Uh, but the sights are the sights are pretty nice though. They're not they're not like bad or anything. I didn't see can you yeah, you get the point. There you go. Uh, yeah, alright. Well you get it. Uh yeah, I saw some different reviews. Unfortunately, being that uh it has that uh terrible California. <laughs> There is uh, some aftermarket parts for the GSG 1911, but just not this one. Um, I forgot the names of the companies. I mean, I, I found I found some online and they looked fantastic. I was like, oh, cool, you know, I'll be able to, you know, upgrade some different components. None of the stuff works for it. Not for the California one, unfortunately. Um, which I don't even know. I'm surprised. You know, I mean, what what did I expect out here in California? Um, I believe we put around. Uh, I don't know, maybe like 150, 200 rounds through it. Um, yeah, probably about 100 rounds. But uh, yeah, it was a uh, super nice. Uh, the slide is nice. So the weight's pretty good. There's no magazine in it. Um, the one thing that I'm not really a fan of is that if there's no magazine, the grip safety cannot be activated. I mean, you cannot pull the trigger without the magazine so it's like a magazine safety feature the one thing too with these magazines the uh, the one thing uh that i noticed as you're putting the mag in you know before i don't there's there's like you gotta they they sit in two flush now i don't know i don't have a, another 1911 that's a 45 but like you gotta pretty much slap that thing in to make sure that the magazine's in a couple times in the beginning i put the mag in thinking that it was all the way in so it's like you can kind of see it's like it looks in it's like slightly off and now it's fully in i think it was a little bit off but uh what would happen was i was i would put in magazines and it would misfeed and i was like what i was like why is it why is it like being weird and uh then i started to notice like oh it's because the mag is not all the way in, so we have to make sure to slap that bad boy. Which is good practice. I mean, if you're going to be practicing uh, with the 22, you know, a good thing is that, well, I mean, you could do it with this, right? All the regular features. Uh, safe, there's the thumb safety. My wife kind of hit it a couple times uh, when we were at the range. So, you know, she would shoot, and then after, like, the first one, I don't know, she would move her thumb in a way that would knock it up, and then it would lock, you know, and so it would go, and then, all right, you gotta remove the safety, right? But um, the trigger pull's pretty nice. It's a... Uh... It's pretty uh, pretty light, I mean, and I'm not supposed to be dry firing it, but... So there you go, and then... Uh, it's pretty light. Um, uh, I don't know, two pounds? I, I have no idea. I don't even know. I don't have the little uh, tool 
Uh, the trigger apparently is uh, adjustable. Haven't adjusted anything. This is just pretty much right out the box. Uh, just shooting it. Uh, but the weight feels good. Uh, comes with like a little uh, rail system here. I was going to get a flashlight. Haven't got it yet. Um, you know, holding it when we were at the range. It was a nice feel. The trigger guard is... Um, I don't know if all 1911s, the trigger guard is so big. I feel like even compared to uh, our Springfield Armory XD9, this is like a lot more out there, uh, which is fine. You know, it's just kind of something getting used to. It's like, oh, kind of feels like a, a Glock 19, uh, the trigger guard at least, because it's like, I feel like on the Glock 2, it's a little bit out. You know, obviously it's just a box, you know, because that's like a Lego block. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I mean, it was pretty good. Uh, the ammo we were shooting out of it was, um, what was it? S uh, CCI? And, yeah, I think it was CCI. Maybe we shot about 50 rounds of that. And then we shot about 100 rounds of um, Aguila. And uh, they both, they both fed really good. There was no, there was jams not from the ammo, but there was jams from the us not putting in the magazines properly. Uh, but once we got out of that, um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think there was just two jams that happened from from the magazines uh, not getting uh, put in all the way. But outside of that, I mean, it, it I mean it was going good. You know, we would do a, we're in an indoor range, um, but I would uh double tap uh, pretty quick and um, it didn't really it didn't have any problems or anything like that it didn't have any any uh, trouble uh, feeding I saw a lot of reviews where people were talking about um, I guess depending on the ammo I don't know if they made modifications to their to their GSG or if it was a, maybe an older model maybe they fixed it but a thing that a lot of people were saying about this one was that they would that at I don't know. I think it was an ammo issue, but I guess the slider wouldn't kick back far enough to feed the ra next round in properly, so it would end up jamming. But we just did, we didn't encounter uh, any issues like that. Uh, fed really good. Yeah, I mean it got the it got the job done. It was a uh, it was pretty nice. So uh, you know, do I recommend it to you? Yeah, I mean if you're in the market for a twenty two, I mean it's pretty awesome. Um, I did see that they have a uh, for. The magazines, they have some, uh, you could buy, I mean, obviously the magazines, I think all of them only come with the <clears throat> uh, 10 bullets, even outside of California. But I did see that there was like adapters uh, that go inside that allow it to feed, I think 14 rounds. Um, and so, I did get to try one of those clips um, with that with that, uh, with that modification as far as uh, 14 rounds and uh, same thing it fed uh, pretty good there was no uh, there was no issue on it the there was I had seen some stuff that uh, I don't have to focus uh, I had seen some reviews that uh, the magazines, you know, as they get uh, modified or something that the, I don't know, the ammo misfeeds or something like that, or like the the tapering of the magazine angles the bullet too much sometimes that it doesn't feed in good, but uh, didn't run into an issue like that. Uh, yeah, the the construction of the magazines is pretty good. They all seem pretty sturdy. Bought a, an, I think I have, an, I have a total of six mags. Uh, you know, and obviously shooting with twenty two, I mean the ammo is freaking ridiculously cheap. Um, when I went to go buy the ammo, I think it's been like I went to Big Five bought sixty dollars worth. I think it was like a box of fifty for like five bucks or something like that of the Oculus. So I got like twelve boxes or something. So that was great. I was happy with that. I got like six hundred rounds for sixty bucks. So, uh, but. Yeah, the, the gun itself, I mean, I recommend it to you. Uh, out here in California, after the cost, it, this one costed um, 500 
yeah, I think 550 bucks, 500 bucks, something like that. It was like, yeah, I think it was, I think even after like whatever fees, like for background check and all that stuff, it was um, 530 or something like that. So it was like the same cost as buying a, our Springfield Armory. I think the XD9, I think that one costed, a, I think it was like 580, 600 bucks, something like that. So it wasn't, I mean, a hundred dollars difference, which was kind of disappointing because it's like, yeah, are you serious? Like for a 22, like, I mean, that sucks. You know, that that's the cost of it, you know? Cause I, I've seen, I think I've seen people able to buy this, you know, in other states where they sell them. I think, I believe the barrel's a little bit longer. Um, I don't know, 350, 400 bucks, something like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can see, I think it's a three and a half inch barrel. Um, haven't took it down yet, haven't cleaned it at all, haven't done anything to it. But um, yeah, that's what that bad boy looks like. You know, so if you're in the market for a 22, I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good buy. Uh, I was debating on the, uh, Walter P22 uh, I think it was slightly less but um, I don't know I was kind of like oh, I kind of want to get a 1911 feel the grips themselves you know talking about they're I don't know I've never had any other 1911 or shot any other 1911 but I know the grips can get changed but the these grips do kind of feel a little uh, they feel kind of bulky um, you know, I could, you know, wrap around and, I mean, it, it feels good. Uh, they're pretty rough as far as grips. Like, the texture is just really, like, I mean, if it was a 45, like, I feel like these grips would actually cut, you know, into your hand or, like, irritate it after a while um, with the friction that they may cause. Uh, but since it's the 22, it's not really a big deal because there's not a lot of kick. You know, your, your hand's not really fighting any uh, recoil or anything like that. Uh, but overall, yeah, I mean, it's been good. I'll put in some more, um, I'll put some more, uh, rounds through it. Maybe, uh, the next time I go to the range, I'll take my GoPro and just kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of show it in action. And, you know, so you guys can see the movement right there. So I'll probably do that the, the next time I'm out there. But yeah, you know, I hope that this was helpful. The review, I know it's kind of dragged down a little bit, but yeah, do I recommend it? Yeah, it's not bad, you know? I think if you're really uh, just getting into uh, guns and you're looking for a 22, I prefer this trigger field to versus the P22 and the. Uh, what else did I try? The. I think Smith and Wesson SW22. I think that's Smith and Wesson. That looks like a freaking Star Wars gun, though. <laughs> but it, it's cool, though. But the but the trigger's kind of similar to that. Just obviously, you know, it's a full trigger. You know, so it, it's, it's a good feel. You know, um, it's not a, it's not bad. Uh, but yeah, hey, you know, I hope that's helpful. You know, if you could get at, if you could, if you're not in California, you can actually buy some of the different uh, modifications. I would definitely recommend it because uh, there's uh, some pretty cool uh modifications that could be done to it uh i know that you can put like a not that it's needed a compensator you know because uh, uh apparently the barrel is comes threaded right i think you can see right there, the little uh, lines right that little line right there so it's supposed to be able to uh be removed california uh that manufacturer that did that i forgot the name of me you can just look it up um they said that these are welded on because it's the California edition one. And literally none of the other parts, even for, uh, even components, like I think uh, the guide rod that they sell doesn't work for this one. Uh, the guide rod spring, what else did they have? They had something like, uh, I think like a trigger upgrade or something what some of the internals like in regards to the safety and stuff like that not none of the stuff was able to work on it because i guess this is a special one they got to make for our special state of california but um yeah you know i hope that's helpful and uh you know leave a leave a question in the comments and if i could be of help or if, you know if you want to see a
particular shooting or something like that, I mean, I'll take it to the range and I'll, you know, lay it out right there and we'll see how that puppy does. But hope you're having a fantastic day and stay safe, all right?